Odyssey here. And thank you, my dear friend Dwayne, on here for talking me into continuing vlogging. I'm just having a time working so many hours, and I feel like, gosh, I'm so boring. You know, all I do is work, 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 work. It doesn't look like it's going to end. But uh, I was out here feeding my chickens. I have a story about the chickens. And I just wanted you to get an update on my sapphire blue gems. Look at these beauties. I cannot tell you how gorgeous this chicken is. And, of course, there's my little um, Blackie. Now, she's just a sex link. I've had her for about three years. She's my oldest surviving hen. And these guys are just doing beautiful. And, of course, there's Chicken Boyd. Chicken Boyd was picked to death by the other chickens, so I put him in here. The girls don't like him, but they don't henpeck him as much as the other Saramas did to him. And uh, he gets to run around in here terrified also. So <laughs> this is why we call him Chicken Chicken Boyd. He's always hiding. Run, run, Chicken Boyd, run. Except I tell you what, he likes to be picked up and cuddled, which is really funny. Yes, you're always running from everybody. That's why you're Chicken Boyd. And well, but the best thing about a sapphire blue hen, I'll have to show you, is. I picked up all the eggs yesterday. So this is just one day. We have eight hens. I did feed them. I'm having trouble getting my thing latched. Okay. Ah, there we go. And last night we had a possum that Scud got. Uh, didn't kill it, but it was heading this direction. So good boy. Good boy. Hand claps to Scud. Betsy came out and helped get rid of the possum also. One day. I gave them all some extra calcium and this is it, guys. One day of egg laying. What in the world? And who laid the light colored egg here in the middle? <laughs> all my chickens, well, this is a Sarama egg. Look at the difference in the sizes. Can you believe it? They lay the most monster eggs. <laughs> like I said, this one over here is a Sarama. And these are all the sapphire blues, except for probably the darker ones. Well, I'm going to have to go get something to carry them all inside. <laughs> Send egg recipe. <laughs> Eli used about a dozen eggs. I have given dozens away. Uh, to me, eggs are just the joy of raising the chickens. The eggs should be free. <laughs> They're just a bonus. So, uh, I know you're all going, send me some. <laughs> I wish I could. But uh, anyway, I got rid of the goats, you know. The goats are gone. That, that has been sad and depressing for me, actually. I know it was smart. I don't have time to keep up with them. They had kept the backyard down a little. You can see over here where they didn't, that it's all grown up really high. But where they were out there working on it, it's down lower. So, uh, we have uh, our usual summertime mess. Although it's kind of dying down since we've had no rain here. Um, some of you may have been hearing about the... Uh, oh, I wish I could... I don't know if I can get close enough to that. Oh, I think it flew. Oh, darn it. There was the brightest colored bluebird over there I wanted to catch for you, and it flew off. Darn. Take my word for it. <laughs> well, you know, I got old Delilah. Her's still down here in her pen. Good girl. What are you, four or five years old, Delilah? That's my first Saram I ever hatched. And she's with the pretty boy. I just kept those two apart because the others wouldn't accept them. So they have their own little tiny cage. Leave them alone. Angus! What? No, you've been in the water, haven't you? That's a good boy. All right, guys. Well, heavens knows I need to start picking lamb's quarter and drying it. But uh, it's not. <laughs> I just don't have any time. Well, I do. I don't. I do and I don't. I've been having back trouble. Why? I always laugh at people with back trouble. That's why. This is karma. So I didn't laugh at him, but I was always like, oh, poo-poo, get up and go. And then I went to the fair with my clients, and they walked me to death. Because it's one thing about my clients. 
they don't feel tired or pain or heat. I have one that wears a coat in 100 degrees. And when they walk, they walk like the wind. And here I am, my back is cranking me down, and I'm like starting to walk like Quasimodo. I tell you, I looked more like a client than they did walking around the fair. It was terrible. And uh, my legs got to burning and hurting because I was trying to keep up with them. And one was looking for coffee, and one was looking for a hat. And first three places we went to didn't have coffee. Thank you very much, State Fair. I'm sweating. How <laughs> can you tell? So, we ended up doing the round. And I thought, I got back to the Matheson Center where they were having a little rodeo for them. And I mean, I sat down and I mean, sweat, I'm just drenched in sweat. I couldn't believe it. The last half mile, I felt like my feet were moving two inches at a time. I just could barely. And I kept having to say, slow down, guys, slow down, guys. And they had these long, skinny legs. And oh, it's terrible. I, you know, it really made me realize how out of shape I am and how bad off I am or how old I am. I'm not sure which. I'm trying to decide all of the above would probably be the answer. Check D. So, anyway. That's the way it's been going, guys. And I think I'm going to have to get me one of those back tens things that, like, electrocutes you in your back when I have to go walking. Of course, I'd like to go to the fair and take you all with me this year. I want to take Mom. All the Mom doesn't think she can walk it. I think we need to rent jazzies or something. That would be lovely. Um, I think Mom's got one. She needs a battery. But uh, roller skates, something. We need something. Maybe those little two-wheel things you stand on and you lean and they, they go. I, I fall on my rear end. But might be better at least to be able to see the fair. Whoa, hang gosh, what's your matter? He's always having problems, isn't he? So, anyway, I tell you, I asked my son to water the chickens because I worked a 30-hour shift straight through uh, my screw-up. I volunteered for the day before for extra hours, then my overnight, and then, without thinking, I volunteered to stay until noon, which ended up being until, like, 5 the next day. Because <laughs> so, <laughs> things happened, and people had appointments, and I had to stay with somebody, and it was just like, I'm already here, just stay. And uh, by doing that, I lose 8 hours, but even though my guys were up at 4 in the morning, all excited about the rodeo, I need to send a letter going. I slept three hours that night. And I made it through and I came home and I did nothing but kind of lay in bed and sleep for almost 24 hours. I had asked my son to water those chickens while I was gone. And when I came home, back sore, barely got out of the car, felt like I had been beaten with a stick. Yes, an ugly stick, I know. And I went, got out of the car and he said, yeah, he watered them. So I slept, 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 got up, it was late, almost dark. I went in and I had two of my girls running around out in the yard, my sapphire blue gems, which are to me as precious as real gems. So I went out and caught them, actually caught them pretty easy. I just walked up to them and they spotted down, they were like, let us back in. And I put them back in. I had to chase one a little bit. And I come back, I'm like, you let two of my hens out. And he's like, oh, I thought I caught them all. I was like, why didn't you close the door behind you when you went in to water them? Well, I don't know how to water them. Common sense is not something that the children and millennials have, is there? Someone make a video game to teach them common sense, okay? All right. I'm just saying. So then I come up with this idea for a game. It's like a painting game, an art game, where you like spray paint the sides of buildings and everything and, and roam through and people can come through and either spray paint over them or vote yes to keep them. And you know, I thought it was a really fun game. At least they would be doing some art. Uh, they could spray paint the sides of uh, railroad cars and stuff like this in virtual, not really. And I was told it was a stupid idea, so. I'm trying to give my son million dollar ideas here. No, no, my ideas are no good. Well, anyway, I uh, found someone he wants to share a house with. I'm hoping he can move out. Um, obviously, he's not going to help around here. That's the way it goes, you know. And my fault. Oh, excuse you. Was that what it sounded like?
Angus, my goodness. I hope it doesn't smell. So, okay. That's where my life's been going lately. That just sums it up. Well, I hope that you all are having a better time. I tell you what, I found a piece of property north of Sedalia that I would love to buy and get out of here. Uh, the house is a fixer-upper. I live in a fixer-upper. But I'm getting new neighbors on the other side now, I think. They came in with the bush hog, bush hog the place. The house is caving in over there. Uh, has been for years, but there was a bunch of men. Looked like they knew what they were doing, and some women, and I thought, they're going to fix the place up and move next to me. <laughs> I'm going to have neighbors on both sides. Now, guys, that's way too much. Way too much for Grandma. I need to be out where there's nobody. And this house looked like it was out where there was nobody. I wish I could get them to just trade with me. Let's just swap houses. It was about the same as what I owe on this one. So <laughs> that would be lovely. Yeah, I wonder if they do it. They call up and ask. <laughs> well, I love you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. I was going to do some stuffed mushrooms, but it's just too hot to cook. It's really, you know, I don't air condition my kitchen. And uh, I have to tell you, I haven't been eating the greatest lately either. That's probably also where the back pain's there. So I'm off and running. I got extra hours to work tonight. They're easy hours, so all I gotta do is watch a kid play video games all night long and get a little bit of meds. So I'll be out of there and back home early tomorrow and then back to work again. So I don't know when I can vlog again, guys. Let's see, nothing interesting going on in the universe at this point. They're talking about storms in the Midwest. Well, not here. It's all going north of us or south of us. We are as dry as a popcorn bar. So, <laughs> thanks for joining me. And if you're so inclined, I have a little donation bar in the corner of my homepage. If you want to help keep Grandma keep this you know, video going. I love you all. I'm going to try to catch up on some of your videos. Bye-bye. Did you fart? You laying down eating? That's the height of laziness. You and me both. Dogs too much like me. Nom, 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 nom.